posterior cord of the brachial plexus. The posterior cord is made up of the posterior division of all the three trunks, the upper, the middle, and the lower trunk. It usually have fibers from C5 to C8. The presence of T1 fibers is variable. Palsy of the posterior cord, you call it radial plus palsy. What is radial plus palsy? You will have radial palsy plus an axillary nerve palsy because these are the two terminal branches of the posterior cord, the radial nerve and the axillary nerve. So if you have a palsy of the posterior cord, you will have combination of these two nerves involved in the palsy. So a weakness of the triceps and wrist extension and finger extension will indicate that the radial nerve is injured above innervation of the triceps. It's probably injured in the axilla or above. That's also accompanied by some cutaneous sensory changes. Of particular importance is the dorsolateral of the hand where the superficial sensory radial nerve gives sensation. The axillary nerve will cause weakness of abduction due to deltoid paralysis and also will give deficiency in sensation around the shoulder area. Just remember the axillary nerve also give innervation to the teres minor. So the radial nerve and the axillary nerve are the two terminal branches of the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. What other branches do you have? You will start with the upper subscapular nerve, which supplies the subscapular muscle, followed by the trochodosal nerve, which supplies the ratismus dorsi. This muscle is very good in flaps, of the lower extremity in open fractures, especially the distal third of the tibia, also can be used in the shoulder for a transfer to help young patient with a large cuff tear that cannot be repaired. The lower subscapular nerve, which innervates the subscapularis and the teres major muscle. Some people used the word stars for the branches of the posterior cord. Stars start with S, which is the upper subscapular, ends with S, which is the lower subscapular, which gives the subscapular muscle and the teres major. And the T is for the trichodorsal, which is uh, the nerve to the latissimus dorsi, and the A is for the axillary nerve, deltoid and teres minor, and the R is for the radial nerve. The posterior cord is a stars. Sometimes the question comes in the exam, if somebody have a bullet around the axilla, or somebody may have a brachial plexus injury from a clavicle fracture, and it is probably uh, will be a posterior cord, especially if you have a combination of injury of the deltoid muscle, the triceps muscle, and the wrist extension.